Hi guys, good afternoon. It's uh, 1 11 pm, 25th of December 2021. And um, I want to wish every one of you guys an happy Xmas. And um, I wish you and your loved ones a splendid festive season. Okay? So. In this video, I want to do a quick breakdown of the Binance features because uh, I've been asked a lot uh, on how to go about trading Binance features. Uh, and I've decided to you know, quickly do this video because um, I believe it can help one or two persons out there. Okay? So before I go ahead, can you subscribe to this channel if you haven't done so, so that you don't miss any of our educative videos on trading, investing, and online business. And without further ado, let's dive in. Okay. So Binance Futures, quick breakdown. Let me give you a brief overview of Binance Futures. So Binance Futures is uh, a type of uh, crypto derivative instrument. And when I say derivatives, <coughs> it means you can actually borrow money to trade, right? And um, a derivative product uh, means you, know, you don't actually own the product. You don't own the product. You can't come and trade on banner futures and withdraw what you bought. No. So you can actually borrow as much as 100x your initial capital. <clears throat> That's for Binance futures. So imagine you have $10 and you can trade, what's 100 times 10? That's $1,000. Imagine you can trade $1,000 with just $10, right? You know, it's awesome. Uh, you know, uh, it means you have a leverage, right? Nevertheless, because you have leverage or because you can borrow more than your initial capital, that doesn't mean that you should borrow every time. And it doesn't mean that you should use all the leverage amount possible that you have, right? Also, Banner Future is highly manipulated. It's highly manipulated. Uh, a lot of people even do it with robots. But, whereas newbies or intermediates, you know, we, we use, uh, you know, we are the one trading it, right? So we are committing against robots. And another reason why it's highly manipulated is that we have market makers, people who, you know, make this market, they put on a lot of funds in this market. And what I have realized about it is, is that these market makers, whenever they make decisions and it gets, maybe it goes against them and they lose money, they can quickly go in the opposite direction. And before you know it, maybe you are at a profit before, before you know it, you are now at a very big loss. Right, so it's highly manipulated, and I'm just coming back to how you can navigate it, even though it's highly manipulated. Okay, so one more thing because you can trade 100x on Binance doesn't mean you should now use the full leverage of 100x. Personally, I do 5x and 10x, and that's my that's the maximum. On rare cases, I do 20x, but I'm always between 10. My average is 10x, yes, that's my average 10 times my initial capital. And for those of you who don't know, if you trade with 10x your initial capital, it means that price needs to go against you by what's 100 divided by 10? By 10%, and you lose all your capital. So that means you must step it, you must set the stop loss before price drops 10%. And if you trade 5x, that's five times your initial capital. What's 100 divided by 5? That's 20%. So price, if price should go if there's a price difference and price should go against your initial price by 20 percent that means you can get you can lose all your your capital if you don't have a stop loss and if you're using 20x what's 100 divided by 20 that's five percent if you use 20x your initial capital let me say you bought something worth 100 dollar that's the price 100 dollar using the 20x now what's five percent of hundred dollar? Five percent of hundred dollar is five dollars. So if if let's say you bought an expensive price to go up, that's a long position. If price should drop to ninety five dollar, you are going to lose all your capital for that trade, except if you set the stop loss before it gets to ninety five. Okay, so that's always advice. 
uh, crypto on its own has a daily average volatility of 5%. So that even means you should not even go about using 20x. Because there will be days that you won't get it right and it's going to go against you by more than 5%. Okay, So at, at most 10%, sorry, at most 10x. So you know that crypto goes against you before it gets to 10 percent you know your stop loss is it and you don't lose all your money okay so one more thing before i i, I dive into it before i go to my next point is that there's opportunity in balance futures you can earn cool money in balance futures but you need considerable amount of money right you need a substantial amount of money. If you have very low money and yeah, yeah, you think you can just use high leverage and make money, it's, it's a bit difficult. So when I mean substantial amount of money, uh, $1,000, uh, $2,000 and above is, is okay to trade Binance Futures. And you can be seeing considerable amount of money daily, weekly or monthly, right? But this money is not important. It's not even important if you don't even know how to trade. If you have the money and you don't know how to trade and you're coming to Binance Futures, uh, forget about your money, right? So you need a substantial amount of money. But that substantial amount of money is not even important if you don't know how to trade. So for you to become, for you to come to Binance uh, Futures, at least you must be an intermi- intermediate or expert trader. Okay. So let's go to my next one, which is capital allocation. So now. One important thing you must know about Binance Futures is if you be training Binance Futures, all your crypto holdings, all the look at all the crypto holdings that you have. Let's say all your crypto holdings worth uh ten thousand dollars. Then the maximum amount that you should bring to Binance Futures, or the maximum amount that should even be in your Binance account, should be worth thirty percent of uh ten thousand uh dollars that's three thousand that's the maximum amount now when i first started trading banana future i realized that whenever i put more money more than 30 percent into by my balance account or balance features and maybe a trade goes against me and i become emotional because you know you're using the app and you have all this money sitting around on banana you can quickly transfer all this money to the balance features and before you know it you start making emotional decision risky decision and you lose all your money so the capital allocation is very 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 important i think if you don't get it right from here uh you could lose big i've had people who have, who have lost up to 50 million era in balance features uh there's a guy who contacted, contacted me from abroad you know uh, although he's rich he's doing his PhD but he lost up to 50 million on Binance features and this, the way you even lose it you, silly silly mistakes right like you become emotional you just transfer all your assets from your spot wallet to your 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 binance features and you lose all, the, all those money because crypto is crazy crypto has crazy volatility that you can't see everywhere anywhere else and it's got this volatility that we are in crypto you know all this little increase you know it's money in dollars and when you even convert it to naira it's also money okay so capital allocation is very very important 30 percent should be in your binance Take away all other money away from Binance. Put it on trust wallet, put it on other exchanges so that you know that whatever happens, you don't make any mistake and you know deploy that capital and lose it. You know, it has happened to me, I've lost big money, millions, because of silly, silly mistakes. Okay. So now I haven't said that, I haven't said that your capital allocation. See, managing risks is very, very important. Okay. So um you must also have an idea of how to manage risk and this is one thing i've learned about trading is that trading is not a single thing a lot of people out there they are looking for just one thing that they will know or they will do and they become a profitable trader it's not possible trading is a process it's a system from allocating your capital well to managing risk to position sizing to stop loss all these things every time you are trading you need to make sure you do them well if you do some well and you don't do the others well, you know, you, you get to to lose money, okay? So uh what I do on Binance uh uh features is I, I do basic analysis. Yes, I do basic analysis. This is Binance features. This is Binance features. 
Uh, I'm on the desktop app currently. Desktop app, and let me come to. Uh, let me come to. Uh, futures. Okay, BTC. So this this is desktop app on MacBook. So BTC BUSD. Okay. This is a uh, futures. So I will also show you how you can uh, place some trades. So um. So now. Um, so I do basic analysis, you know. Uh, funny enough, if you if you think you you do in depth analysis on binary futures and you know what what what's up, I think you waste a lot of time. So what I just do is basic TA, basic analysis. Draw my support and resistance. Uh, after I've drawn my support and resistance, uh, I then I wait for good entries. I wait. For good entry so if you want to draw your support and resistance uh, actually this um, this chart is not displaying well. let me see if I can change to a trading view chart uh, okay I'm currently on a trading view chart not, let me go to original Binance channel. Okay, this is original Binance chart and it loads okay so let me go back to trading view chart and let's see if it's going to load sometime it loads sometime it doesn't load okay so the trading view chart is not loading let me go to original Binance chart and let's try to draw some 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 support and resistance um i will come here um, uh can i have rsi on my chat you know this is rsi below i also use rsi to trade those are technical indicators uh, but i want to be able to draw my support and resistance the lines but the, the the best way I've been able to do it is via uh, this trading view chart, which is not showing right now. I don't know why it's not showing. Uh, let me reload and see if it's going to show. Okay. So while it's being reloaded, while it's being reloaded, um, it's not showing. It's not showing. Um, okay. No problem about that. Let's just continue. So um, let's just continue. So let's just continue so another thing that i make sure i do is that you know i wait for good entries you need to wait for good entries otherwise you will keep losing money and i want to stress wait let me emphasize the word wait because you have to wait if you can't wait you will lose a lot of money because this uh, balance features is highly manipulated to the fact that you know it will go to the direction you want it to go to but before it goes there it's first going to come down and stop you or come up and stop it before going to that direction that you want it to go so being able to wait for a good trade entry i think is very very good and the one thing i also do that helps me um in trading futures is i trade less yes i trade less i want to reason why i trade less is you know to pay less fees because see you're using futures that means you're trading with a large amount and binance will collect their fee on that large amount if you don't know they will collect it so if you just keep entry position and going out of position, you are making Binance rich. Whether and the worst thing is a losing trade, and you are still paying high fees. You are still making Binance rich. Okay, so you need to trade less, few trade, maybe one or two a day, or maybe one or two in three days, depending on what's happening in the market. And um, I, another thing I do is I I trade. Most times it's good for me to trade when market is calm. I just learned this of recent. Buying or selling when market is calm. You see, uh, there's this saying in trading, uh, I'm sure most of you are aware that don't uh, buy a falling knife, right? And it's very risky. Of recent, I bought a falling knife and I lost big amount of money because before I could set my stop loss, the market just dropped big. So sometimes when there's a drop, I think it's advisable you wait for, for, for it to calm down, then you enter, then maybe it goes up, then you make profit. So when you are seeing that massive drop and um, there's still chaos in the market, I, th I don't think it's a good idea to go and buy, personally. So wait for when the market is calm. So now let's go to position sizing. Uh, position size is how much you, you take for a bet. So sometimes I think 
professional traders they advise maximum of five percent on each trade but sometimes i go as high as 25 percent because sometimes i believe if you are able to spot a very good risk to reward ratio sometimes you can increase your position size up to 25 percent i've done that i do that sometimes and uh, it works for me so when you do that i will show you how to increase your position size shortly but another thing you need to do is set tight stop loss in crypto and use mark price so i'm going to show you that right now let me exceed this uh, presentation so uh yeah so this this is the binance uh desktop app as i've said so this this is where you can trade so let's say um let's say i want to trade uh this particular uh asset uh btc busd and i send in some busd right so now if let's say i have 1000 busd here i can choose what uh uh 25 percent right 25 percent sometimes i can choose 25 percent of my capital at the maximum and after choosing 25 percent at the maximum and i place that trade i'll now go ahead and set it was a stop loss so right now i currently have a trade so now there are two ways you can you can trade there we have cross and or isolated margin so um they are both good but I always advise isolated margin right so for example the trade that i have here is um um okay this is this is this is cross but I always advise isolated because you can only lose that amount of money that you have so for this particular trade i just sent in 109 usdt for this trade alone after applying my position size so when i uh use the 109 usdt place that trade i also came here and set a stop loss now my stop loss i i i entered at 454 right now price is at 453 and my stop loss is at 438 so if I'm going to lose this one ten dollars, right? If I'm going to lose this one ten dollars, uh, if if I'm going to have a loss, if my stop loss is going to get triggered, it's going to get triggered, and I'm going to lose about thirty nine point seven one USDT. Let me cancel it. Down. Okay, I will cancel it shortly. I'm going to lose about thirty nine point seven one USDT, and thirty nine point seven one USDT from one ten dollars is about twenty six or twenty seven percent. So this particular trade. My position size is about 27 percent i can do it rough maths uh, um, okay that's um, 39 divided by one let's say 110 okay well i think it's higher than that it's higher than that so it's a bit higher than that so um so that's you need to set it and when you're setting your stop loss make sure you use what we call mark price don't use last price and i'll tell you the difference shortly so let me cancel it and set this again okay so i'm setting my stop loss to let me say 438 as it is before and i'm choosing mark price what is this mark price means that immediately price get to that point it's going to sell using a market price right it's going to sell using a market price now um if you use last price sometimes price price if you use last price that means trading price the last trading price must get to must be 438 let me come again if you use mark price it means if price should get below 438 it's going to your stop loss is going to get triggered and executed but sometimes if you use last price it means Trade must actually occur at this price, but sometimes trade might not occur at that price because they might, might have intense volatility and the price just drop rapidly and no trade occur at this price. So if you use last price and no trade occur at this price, then you keep losing money till your account get liquidated or you get wiped out. So it's always advisable to use mark price. So if it gets to 430, just liquidate whatever I have. Very important. You, and you need to set a tight stop loss, but have it in mind. Don't use a too tight stop loss. Don't use a stop loss that is too tight. At least the stop loss that you are using for your trade, uh, minimum should be 5% from the price that you bought. Right? Minimum should be 5%.
okay five percent or depending on on your trading strategy so that's how me i i i trade here uh sometimes i win sometimes i lose uh i know it's a bit it's a, it's a, it's a bit risky so but i i know it's a, a bit risky and i'm coming with the mindset that trading futures is risky that's why i'm bringing even sometimes lower than than 30 percent of my capital to to future because i know that i can lose all i can lose all right so uh let me set this again back okay so i've set it back okay so let me go back to my um presentation so um one thing you must always do always do is what lock profit take small gains in binance futures whether it's five percent whether it's ten percent twenty percent forty percent take small gains the mistake that i've made that have cost me the most money is waiting for fifty percent gain or hundred percent gain in fact sometimes i see hundred percent gain i didn't take it before i knew it the market just changed those market makers maybe they are at a lot they just switch to the other side and i lose that money even lost big my stop loss was triggered so this is what i mean by low profits let me let me exit this and show you what i mean by low profits so low profit means that once you enter a trade and let's say this trade this trade right now is at a loss of about two dollars so if i come here i click edit let's say price has already increased <clears throat> so what i just need to do is now i bought at 450 4.47 that's my entry let's say price i've gotten to 460 what i just need to do is cancel this my stop loss and increase my stop loss if price is at 460 i can increase my stop loss to what for what uh 58 and lock some profit although this is a small profit it's better to have this small profit than to still come and lose all your money so whenever price goes in your favor and you have let me say five percent roi or ten percent lock some of that profit lock some i'm serious this is this mistake i've made it over and over and over again and it's so so painful it's so so painful you'll be at a profit it's of you to lock i'm not saying close the trade there's a difference between closing the trade and locking profit locking profit simply means that you are just increasing your stop loss to an area that you know you know that if you that new stop loss get triggered you have logged some profit so always we check your trade lock some profit and now leave it if you keep increasing keep locking more profit it's very very important so but i can't click on confirm now because if i click on confirm this is going to be executed immediately okay because price has not got in here so um i'll go back and sell 438 as my stop loss then depending on which kind of trade sometimes i don't like to give myself uh it take profit limit and sometimes i use it right so uh sometimes i i use it so if i'm going to set set take profit for this i can use 480 so let's click confirm so yeah this one yeah um <laughs> so yeah if, if it goes against me i'll lose for i'll lose about 40 dollar if i win i'll lose about um I'll, if i win i'll win 61.55 so that's about 50 percent that's about one which 1.5 for my return okay that's ROI one which 1.5 that's that's a uh our risk to reward ratio which is not bad okay Okay, so that's that about that. So one thing you must also know about features that I didn't add here. Okay, one thing I didn't add here is is that what features is for short term trades. Uh, a lot of people use some people use features for long term trade. Like they are looking for a way to buy at the very bottom, then leave it for long till it gets to the very top. I think it's very risky because something happened of recent, like. Market kept going up, and before you know it, it dropped so rapidly that even those that have bought futures at the very top. Okay, let me show you something here. Look here. Now imagine those that. Uh, 
Okay, this is Bitcoin. Let me switch to BCH. Very funny chart. Okay, so imagine those that bought at this very bottom. Or those that bought here. It came up and before they could even probably take some profit, it started coming down as well. So crypto, if, I, if you want if you want to do long term trade, my advice is just buy in spot spot market. Take it out of your exchange and leave it. Leave it in spot market. But if you are coming to futures, it's for short term trade. I believe it's for short term trade. So I don't leave my trade to be for long. Sometimes I cut my losses. It's for short term trade. So uh finally take time off after winning or losing streak so of recent i had um a losing streak so after i've lost about um five trade plus if i lose five trades in a row plus i just stopped trading for that time for that period then come back and the uh, balance even did it well they added the uh, cooling off period there's something called cooling off period um so that means your balance futures trading account is going to be frozen. That's what they call a cooling off period. It's going to be froze, frozen for that period. <laughs> this, this is now cooling off period. So if I choose to have a cooling off period, so it's going to disable futures related trading functions on my balance account, right? And uh, you can choose a start date and end date. Right, but I can't do it now because I have active trade, and it's gonna. If I do it now, it's gonna close all my active trade, okay. And there are some times that I also have winning streak. There's a time that, that out of um, about 10 trades, I won about eight. On such occasions, I need to stop trading and take out some profit, withdraw it, and keep it in Naira, or even give somebody because. You can still come back and lose that money. That's that's the most dangerous thing about features. Uh, you make this money and you don't know what happened you still come back and lose everything you know it's so sad and um you know you'll be so you can be depressed so when you are making profit make sure make sure make sure that uh, you take some um profit off the table so that's just my own little piece yeah uh i hope you've been able to learn one or two things from from this video uh if you have any question kindly put it down in the comment section below and before you leave kindly uh subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any of our educative videos on trading investing and online business and um until next time keep learning uh bye